You know, right now we're living in some uh, difficult times for people uh, who are employers. Uh, nobody wants to work, so it seems to be that uh, letting people go is uh, become the exception, not the norm, when someone's not performing well at their job. And Caroline Jackpot's a kind man, I'm a compassionate man, and I'm going to tell you there's one thing I would never do, and that is take joy in someone else uh, being terminated from their job. But on this one, oh. <laughs> Woo! Auburn, what are you doing? Auburn, let's offensive coordinator Mike Bobo go after less than a year on the Plains. After less than a year, Brian Harson, oh, uh, Mountain West guy, drags Mike Bobo into the office and gives him the damn boot. Oh, you know what? What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a little bit of backstory there. Mike Bobo, offensive coordinator for South Carolina Gamecocks last year. Uh, much maligned by a lot of the Gamecock fans. Uh, Carolina Jackpot actually liked a lot of the things that we did last year on offense. We, uh, we used a fullback. We utilized our running backs well. Uh, picked up a lot of yards on the ground. He brought in a uh, Mountain West cast-off uh, transfer quarterback uh, in uh, uh, freaking uh, Colin Hill in there, who was absolutely horrible. But uh, other than that, I mean, he wasn't a bad offensive coordinator. And he picked up the interim coach's job when the worst head coach in the history of head coaches, Will Muschamp, was let go after uh, giving up 59 points to Ole Miss last year. They let him be the interim coach, and he coached out the last three games of the season. Of course, the Gamecocks go all in three in them. But uh, new head coach Shane Beamer wants to keep Mike Bobo around on the staff. And everybody's like, yeah, man, it's a good idea. I mean, get some, you know, it, you know, it's somebody here with a little bit of knowledge of the program, and this, this is a good deal. You know, this. What does he do? Guy takes the job, and then less than a week later, turns around and runs away accepts the offer from Brian Harson to become the offensive coordinator at uh, Auburn, taking with him newly hired uh, offensive line coach, Will Friend, who came over from Tennessee. Well, Bobo and Friend uh, go to the Plains this year. And, uh, you know, th th I, this is kind of surprising to me, to be honest with you. Uh, Auburn uh, was offense. I mean, was it good this year? Uh, no, not really. I mean, they put up like 403 yards a game last time I checked, which is like really around middle of the pack uh, as far as, uh, you know, the entire country goes. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to tell you, what got Mike Bobo fired is, in my opinion, Clemson, and I'm going to tell you why Clemson got Mike Bobo fired, because Clemson uh, exposed the South Carolina Gamecocks' uh, run defense. Well, they really didn't expose it. Uh, several teams exposed South Carolina's run defense uh, down uh, the stretch of the run of the season this past year, and it's just that it's the hot doo-doo and it's no good. And um, what does Mike Bobo do? He comes into a game where he has, he's either the SEC's leading rusher or one of their leading rushers, definitely one of their more talented running backs, Stank Bigsby, uh, which the guy goes and runs for, granted, like 160 yards on South Carolina, but there are several points in this game where they have like fourth and one, and uh, and, and that they put the quarterback, uh, T.J. Finley, who is just a terrible passer, back here in shotgun to try to make a play with his arm instead of just handing the ball off uh, to the running back who's going to get 160 yards, you you, you throw you, you're throwing the ball, which makes absolutely no sense. And so uh, you, you end up not utilizing Stink Bigsby uh, the way it needed to be utilized in that game. And then next week, you see uh, Clemson goes out here uh, with two running backs, neither one of them uh, who are anywhere near to being the level of Stink Bigsby. And a Clemson fan, you can get mad at me all you want to for saying that. You know it's the truth. Uh, Kobe Pace and Will Shifley. And uh, they run rough shot all over the Gamecocks. So, in my opinion, Clemson is the one who put the nail in Mike Bobo's coffin. The team I hate uh, <laughs> sends to the pink slip line the offensive coordinator I hate. See you later, fucker. Woo! Go Gamecocks, baby.